Going back to the ship? Yeah, I'm heading back. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what, did, oh what, what the hell did you do? Rick, what did you do? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell? Holy shit! Whoa! <laughs> We're on fire! <laughs> <laughs> and we back again. Oi. So yeah, we have here one that again, Disney Plus series. These film or these uh I call them films, but these series which are basically really long movies. Definitely. I will say some have been hit and some have been missed. Some I haven't seen. Some I will not. Did you watch Moon Knight? I had not. No, but I've heard really good things. It was. It started off really strong. Like it was one of the few things I was coming back every week because I was actually you know mm -hmm. in tune. But there was just some choices they made. I'm not going to say too much because if you haven't watched it all, I don't want to ruin anything. But there were some choices they made. I really would like to get your opinion on them. Okay. So maybe sometime we'll have to catch up on that. Yeah. But, yeah. Definitely. But uh, I feel he was under executed. You know, you got Daredevil coming into the universe. You got these uh, Jessica Jones. Uh, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, all that stuff being integrated in more darker toned shows. Well, <clears throat> I, I will say this: like the the Netflix series is the previous ones. Out of all of them, I'll rank them in terms of how I felt about them. Go ahead. Daredevil, obviously, number easily. One. <laughs> I would also say Punisher. Oh, I forgot about Punisher. Punisher, and yeah. I would say Jessica Jones. Luke Cage. <laughs> Here's the thing with Luke Cage. Mike Coulter, I thought played Luke Cage really well. I liked him as Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he like he fit the visage. Mm -hmm. He felt like he felt he felt like a great choice. Season one was more of a hit. Than, than yes, that. and the second season introduced an idea that I think they could have seen through. But my problem with season one is. Y'all killed off Cottonmouth way too soon. Way too early. I heard he you wanted that, though. You had Marshala Ali. <laughs> yeah, one of, he was cold. To me, one of the best actors out there. Y'all have him as your main adversary, mm -hmm. and you cut him off less no. than halfway through the series. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Who was the main main bad? He didn't even mean anything by the end of it, dude. The main bad? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, not Crossbones. Uh, honey son? Not Honey son. Oh, I can't remember. It's it was his, Luke's brother. I remember a fucking that. suit doing some yeah, dumb shit. It, I don't know. But also, uh, what, uh, what was her name? Uh, I'm going to... Uh, Alfred Woodard. Alfred Woodard as the uh, as Cornell, as Cottonmouth's cousin, the politician. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's and right. I like Alfred Woodard. And I think her character and her portrayal of just like the trauma that she's been through and all of her upbringing and everything was was pretty good. Yeah. But again, when you don't give her anyone to play off of, you know, she can't carry it. Well, like she that. well she can't carry it by herself because nah. the character's not developed enough. Yeah. If the character had enough development, you like I think Alfred Wood, Alfred Woodard is a powerful actress in her own right. She could carry, uh, she could carry stuff. Mm -hmm. But again. When you kill off one of your main villains, play you know, and you don't really <laughs> give her anyone to play with, yeah, and give her that room to grow, and instead we're just like, oh, so I guess she's she's this now. Because his emotion on both sides, whether he was uh, trying to comfort her or he got angry or something, played to her because they were such a contrast in themselves. Yes, like, and I wanted to see more of that. I wish yeah. we had that for the full first season, and then after that, if you wanted to off one of them. Then okay, yeah. but at the same time, just uh, what was it? it was like it was like midway through the season, wasn't it? Yes, it's been a while since I watched yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, and then of course you know I, I uh, do I have to talk about Iron Fist? No, you I don't, don't. want to talk about Iron nah, Fist. No, that was just everybody. That knows. first season just so haphazard. The second season had promise in the beginning, but it ended with one of the dumbest decisions. See, oh I don't my even know God. if I made it that far. I don't. I don't even. Ugh. Anyway. Iron Fist is such a cool character, man. It sucks yes! what they did to him, bro. Oh man, some people just won't ever know, bro. No, they won't. And that's he uh, should got. He should have got a movie. That's the one they should have did the movie, especially with the dragon and yes, all that to get yes. his powers. Because like. I, I, again, they can portray mist. Because that's one thing they said. Oh, they went all full mysticism on this, and that's why it didn't work. They've gone full mysticism on Shang on Shang Chi. Oh man, what? Yes, and it's 
And it's amazing. Yeah. They went full on mysticism. Full on. Because they actually tied it in and made it something that you could actually feel like you could reach out and touch. No doubt. Whereas what they did in Iron Fist was that they did the same old tropes that they did on old school television and they didn't grow. Yeah. They, uh, I could go on and on, but we got a, we got a trailer to watch. Yeah, we got this trailer, man. Yeah. My bad. She-Hulk, attorney at law. I've seen... I've seen some things on this, but I guess we're just going to go all in. We're and, jumping in, yeah, baby. Yeah, jump in the deep end. Let's dive into that green sea. Here we go. I'm coming at you. Oh, no. Bruce. Don't do it, Bruce. Don't do it. <gasps> wow, Jesus, what the hell, man? Still in control and the overwhelming feelings of rage. No, a normal amount of rage. You do revert back to Gen 4 when you sleep. Was the air horn really necessary? For comedy, absolutely. Okay. This is a multi-year journey you're about to embark on. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Who's your best friend? Nikki. Eh, spandex. Spandex is your best friend. <laughs> yes. But being a Hulk asks for balance. You have mm. so much I more know. to learn. If you want to go back to life as a lawyer, I, I respect that. He doesn't mean that. Fourth wall breaks. Hey, fourth wall. Hey, uh, uh, okay, well, I'll save, I'll save until after. Nate wants to hit y'all, man. We are going to launch a division for them. And I want the She-Hulk to be the face of it. Jennifer Waters. Abomination? Hey, Timmy Roth! Oh, shit. What up, G? Yeah, that's quite all right. Oh. Huh. People only care because I'm representing Emil Vosky. I think they care because they're like, hey, that girl's green. Jen, do your thing. God, I really like this outfit. <laughs> Take off the shoes, yeah. <laughs> I'm not proud of this. Walters, we answer to a higher power. Hey, what's up, Wong? Wong is carried in the MCU. Yes. I am a Ooh. lawyer. We do things by the book. He big. Oh, the book of Ashanti. No, the book of American uh, laws. Whether you like it or not, you're now a superhero. Let's do this. It's true. You know that friend you had in high school? Way cooler than you were. Attractive. Got all the attention from everyone. Hello. Mm -hmm. I think I'm jealous. Is that what I'm feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Attorney at law. Wait. Yes! It's the man. <laughs> there he is. I got uh, some claps from me. Okay, so check it out. Uh, She-Hulk, man, what you think, Nate? I There are things about it that I really like. And there are some things about it that I'm a bit like, uh, if they do this too much, I'm going to hate it. For Facts. Instance, the fourth <laughs> wall breaks. Here's the thing. There's only one hero out there who can truly do fourth wall breaks and nobody gives a shit. Y'all know who it is. Fucking Deadpool. Come on. <laughs> Y'all know who it is. Yes. Whereas I love, I, I love, you know, how they have done the Hulk to a certain degree. But I'm really hoping that right here, again, Bruce right here with this portrayal of, you know, it, Bruce has been the Hulk now for what? 20 years almost? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well okay. Not 20, but. Were you talking like within the mythos? Well, within this mythos. 15 years Let's, something like cause that because I remember because uh, if they're showing Abomination you know Eli you know like uh, if they're showing uh, Tim Roth's uh, uh, Abomination mm -hmm. but you know they're showing uh, they're showing uh, Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner yes. that means that this is still the continuum of when Edward Norton was portraying my Bruce favorite Banner. Hulk film yeah okay yeah. there you go yeah. so if that's what they're going for Hulk he has been the Hulk now for years and years, and I would say the Hulk at this point would be 
much more physically capable than this. Yeah, look at this pose, guys. I know this pose because this is yoga. And don't get me wrong, I've I've done yoga, and this pose <laughs> it like it, for it'll the first get you time, strong. Mate. Yeah, oh yeah, it works your core, it works your legs and your arms. It basically is a full on. It's a great balance exercise, no doubt. But my whole thing with this is right here. You're setting the Hulk up to look a little bit like a rube. But then we cut over to She-Hulk, and she's... She's doing all this shit. And again, it could be because, you know, uh, in the comics in the past, Jennifer has always been portrayed as someone who's a little more athletically inclined than Bruce was. Mm -hmm. Bruce, big, brutish, hulkish. But again, you'd think with years and years of training under... Especially, okay, I know a lot of people don't realize this, but the person that was giving lessons to Bruce... In the Incredible Hulk film, in terms of like diaphragm control and like man, you know the the Brazilian guy mm -hmm. who was giving him lessons, that was Hicks and fucking Gracie, probably the greatest Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner ever. And you and you're telling me, in all the time that he's done training and all that, the most he can muster out of yoga is that little balancing act. Come on, man. Like no, this is like come on, man. Come now on. this isn't necessarily a flexible act, but in the comics, just to give y'all some, you know concept of the hulk strength he hails up a freaking mountain guys yes a freaking mountain that's peak hulk too you know what which, i mean <laughs> which i think this hulk here he's not as not as strong oh well, yet, yeah but i think given enough time i think maybe his character could again planet hulk make it happen please yeah well, that's what we're fighting for we got to yes. get through all this for the good stuff yes and which this could be good i'm not well, trying to say it's yes be, but. and I also see here, uh, you know, these, uh, what, yeah, the fourth wall breaks, that's going to be a bit annoying. She do any of that? I don't think she really does that, does she? That's kind of something they're adding to her character. He doesn't know? mean that. The fourth wall no. breaks. No, in the comics, no, her character has never broken the fourth wall, thinking, yeah. like, willingly, especially if it's in a main storyline, but, it, again... Fourth wall breaks again. The only character who can do it is Deadpool. Deadpool, yeah, that's because his signature. I, bro. I love and I want to like this. You see, there's a thing about the Marvel franchises right now. I want to like these, but but if they keep making mistakes, bro, go ahead. You're just, no, you're hitting my note, man. I'm just listening to you go because that's how I feel. Like I want to like all this shit. Like this is shit I grew up on. Yeah, this is like these my comics, life right these here. Comics this is my childhood. Are my, are like from my life for the longest time. Like hanging out at Cavalier Comics and just chatting up. Like, where do you think this future plotline is gonna go with this comic? And hearing the guy behind the counter is just like, you know, what we're gonna be getting Superman and Wonder Woman. It's gonna be a thing, man. <laughs> and, uh, and this was way before it was actually a thing and uh, eventually uh, I could I could just hear him now he's just like called it I freaking Yo, called it he's hype and I'm just like yeah and I just love doing that I love uh, you know, I miss that but again growing up with these characters seeing their portrayals in the past yeah. the ones that worked the ones that didn't mm -hmm. and also seeing here just all the like all the potential that this has and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it it lives up to it. But again, Tim Roth coming back as you know, <laughs> that's huge. Tim that's Roth odd. is huge. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Orange, if you will, Mr. Orange. Y'all, y'all know that reference. Wink, wink. Dude, that's and back then, at the uh, Quentin, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and then uh, we had uh, Wong here. Yep, there he is. Wong as well being. I think is going to be a central connector point. Seeing how he is literally the sorcerer supreme. Yeah. Now. True that. That's the whole thing. I know. I think a lot of people are overlooking that point too. Yes, he is the sorcerer supreme, and him being in all these series and everything else that's intertwining and connecting everything together, I think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But again, Wong being relegated to the messenger instead of instead of being more fleshed out. If he they, if they don't do anything with him mainline. Eventually, people are going to get sick of it. Oh, yeah. He's like a transitional champion. Yes. It, 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 oh, oh, you hit the nail on the head there, man. <laughs> and I hate that. You know what but, I mean? Like, Wong, I think, has enough of a following now. They could do something with Wong solo. And I know B and I know Benedict Wong would be all aboard with that because I guarantee he's just chomping at the bit like, can't I do something other than just be the messenger? Oh, the facts. Time? Yeah, because like, he can I, act. I, I, I could definitely see him doing that. 
And plus, I love Benedict Wong as an actor. I love him. Uh, but, yeah. Abomination. I- I'm glad also that they updated Abomination's look to be more like the comic than the, I hate to say it, walking snot pile that he looked like in The Incredible Hulk. Real. No, I, that's real. I Because, again, it's your favorite Hulk movie, and it's probably mine too. Because of we don't have many choices, though. But no, back then, again, the CG wasn't as strong as <laughs> yeah. now. I mean, looking at this now, like this, if I we had this back then, I have no complaints. I'd be like, that's that's it, that's it, game over. That's a hit. Yeah, that's a winner. And you know, it's still, it, you know, I guess going back, it's I guess it's technically still a hit because it's Tim Roth, but but. Yeah. Again, going back to what we kind of started this whole conversation, these characters, man, I want them fleshed out. Like, it don't got to be, you know, word for word like the comics, but no. write them as the character. I think you hear yeah. all this stuff about the diversity pitch and fit somebody here, fit mm. somebody there. It's like, man, these characters have personalities already. Just bring somebody in to play them. You don't have to play you to play them. Does that make sense? No, like, you don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, Add your own stuff ideals and you stuff. Have to yeah, add your own right. ideals. These characters have their own ideals, and if they're fleshed out enough, then then they again, live and breathe on their own. And yes. if you write them right, they'll write themselves more or less. Yes, like. I agree with that. But all right, we have to move on. That was uh, incredible Hulk or the She-Hulk. She-Hulk, the, the incredible She Hulk attorney at law. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so hopefully we'll be able to see uh, more of this whenever the series releases. Uh, until then, though, uh, that's going to do it. Signing off, I'm Nate. I'm drawn up, man. And we'll see y'all later. Peace. Take care.